Hey, what's up, everybody? Josh, startringgutterbusiness.com. Back at it again today. Um, we're going to do a 5-inch K-style end cap installation video. So, here we go. So, this is just a standard 5-inch K-style gutter. Um, this is cut with the guillotine out of the end of the gutter machine. End caps are just pre-made end caps. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive, and they get crimped on with a set of end cap crimpers. So first, some gutter machines have a little bigger hanger lip on here, so you can crimp that a little bit if you need to, if your end caps are stick up a little high and hit. So make sure that's crimped and you can kind of see in there that um, that fits in there good now. <clears throat> and with these end cap crimpers, these are Malco um, SLC1s or SL1s, and you use the box end in and you just crimp two or three times per side. And I cut, uh, use the box end in so it's crimping the metal in towards the center of the gutter. They hold the best that way. And then I usually kind of just go around on the end cap and lightly kind of press everything down so those flaps aren't sticking out at all. So it's nice and smooth as it can be for an end cap. So got that in. Uh, the most important part of all this is to make sure it's straight, seated all the way, crimped in, and then the gluing is the uh, functional part here. So I brought a gutter here that's been glued a few, I don't know, it was probably a couple weeks ago now. Just to show you, this glue shrinks, so you want to put plenty of extra in, and then you also weld it in with your finger to make sure that it's sticking to both layers of metal really well. So we got, got our end cap in. We'll go ahead and glue this one just to show you how it's done. So plenty of glue in there. Do a nice solid bead all the way. And then once, once you got a bead all the way in, kind of uh, directing that nozzle in towards the seam to kind of shoot it in there. And you use your finger, and you can wear gloves or whatever you need to do, but... And then you just weld that glue, press that glue all the way around to make sure it's seated to both pieces of metal. And that's what helps it stick on there and reduces your callbacks for you. So all that's seated, I always make sure we have extra glue in the corner right here, this front bottom corner, because that glue tends to shrink and, and can get, you can get pinholes in that area. And then always glue all the way to the top, make sure and it's... A completed glue job. So I know you would think that water is only sitting here a couple inches, so you probably don't need to glue all the way up, but you're there, glue the whole thing. One thing you can do if you don't have these end cap crimping tools is you can either zip screw or rivet these end caps on. It doesn't look quite as nice, but I mean it works. So you can just take a zip screw in through the front and then it just kind of goes into that center part, which isn't really visible from the ground, especially if you paint them. But if you don't have the right tools, um, that's one way you can do it, or even use a rivet in that, that area. So that works too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure and comment below if you have any questions. We'll get right back to you. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. We'll be coming out with one about every week. So see you in the next one.